Forgiveness. Options. The ground game. For most golf architecture fans, these are good things. And the type of green design known as the volcano has none of them. But let me explain why we think it's still great. The volcano hole is most associated with the architect Donald Ross, and its basic traits are simple. Like a miniature volcano, the green is raised in the air, sometimes on top of a knoll, other times built up from the ground. On all or most sides, the green repels down, way down. Because of its severity, the volcano most often appears on par threes, but occasionally it pops up on a short par four. The origins of the volcano hole are unclear. Potential models include the fifth hole at Glen Eagles and the second and sixth holes at Royal Dornick, the course Donald Ross grew up playing. But ultimately the volcano is better understood as a kind of free-floating idea rather than a strict template. It takes many different forms and goes by many different names. There's the Knoll Hole, though the one at Yale gets its name from a landform in the fairway. There's the Battleship, the Pulpit, there's even the Volcano at Bedford Springs. But let's not get too lost in the weeds here. The Volcano Hole is really about a feeling. Hit the shot or you're going down. It's similar to an island green, yet different in that if you fail on your first shot, you can still hope for a miraculous recovery. Now on a strategic hole, the hazards are meant to create multiple options for play, some risky and some less so. That's not the volcano. This is penal design, where the hazards mete out straightforward punishment to poor strikes. At the fried egg, we often champion strategic golf architecture. So why do we love the volcano hole? Well, partly because what we look for in a golf course, above all, is variety. We wouldn't want every green to be a volcano, but one green or even a couple out of 18? Sure. On courses where width and angles are the rule, it's an exception. And it's a thrilling exception at that. Good golf holes activate the emotions and the volcano definitely excels on that count. There's the anxiety of addressing the ball, the anticipation as it sails toward the target, the fear or hope that this one shot could swing the match, the satisfaction of averting the danger, the sinking feeling of the opposite. At very few places on a golf course do you hear as much shouting as you do on the tee of a volcano hole. Donald Ross once wrote that he had three basic standards for his designs. One, make each hole present a different problem. Two, so arrange it that every stroke must be made with a full concentration and attention necessary to good golf. Three, build each hole in such a manner that it wastes none of the ground at my disposal and takes advantage of every possibility I can see. He really meant it. Every possibility. 